Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Song Wook Kim, and uh, today we we'll prepare the very interesting cases. And first, I will introduce our staff, uh, Dr. Zhang, uh, who will assist me, and we will operate together. And uh, Dr. Park will introduce the case, and uh, technician nurses uh, will cooperate for this case. Okay, first, we will introduce you our case uh, by Dr. Sujin Park. Okay, thank you. Um, this is a 16-year-old male patient. Initial uh, diagnosis was TOF and Williams syndrome. At two months of age, central shunt with 4 millimeter Gore-Tex vascular graft was performed at another hospital. And at 14 months, Total correction was performed at another hospital. And last year, the November, the patient visited our clinic. And on December, multiple balloon angioplasty was performed. This is the chest x-ray. Uh, cardiomegaly and sco uh, scoliosis is shown. And on EKG, it's sinus rhythm and right bundle branch block. This is the chest CT. On the right side uh, is the CT done last year, and on the left side is CT done uh, July this year. And compared to the last year, RV enlargement with severe RV OT aneurysm is shown. And compared to the previous CT, minimally improved both branch and peripheral pulmonary ar 아니, artery stenosis is shown. 있는데, Uh, the hilar RPA is 3.7 millimeters, and right lobar artery is 5.5 millimeters, and right upper pulmonary artery is uh, 2.1 millimeters, and the distal LPA is 6.9 millimeters. And this is the cardiac cath performed last year. Uh, balloon angioplasty was done on, on five sites of RPA stenosis. 3D rotational angiogram was performed. And after the balloon angioplasty, RV aorta ratio dropped from 0.77 to 0.63. This is the last year angiogram. You can see the 3D rotational angiography. And these are the stenotic branches that we perform the balloon angioplasty. So the planned procedure today is 3D rotational angiography and balloon angioplasty of both pulmonary arteries. Okay. Yes. Our pressure is now 72, and the aortic pressure is 110. So it's about, about three quarters. Uh, 75 percent. Yeah. Okay. Uh, three quarters. Yes. And uh, today we checked the pulmonary pressure. LPA distal was uh, 15 and mean 10, and uh, on the proximal part the PA pressure was uh, 56 over. 30? Okay. Yeah, so that there may be a stenosis on the vessel. So we will check the rotational angiogram and uh, we will find out the stenotic vessel. Ready? Okay. Go. Okay. 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 Very nice. Yeah. So this uh, only the 40 cc die for the 38 kilogram patient. So just the one cc per kilo. We don't have to any more angel in this patient. We can select all the vessels and dilate with this one angiogram. This uh, one of the advantage of rotational angiogram. Can you see the 3D roadmap? Yes. 
Yes, we can rotate it before we, uh, okay. The camera angle is still there, but uh, we can simulate the, to find out the most stenotic vessel clearly. So. There, I think you can get it even yeah. more if you make it more cut off. There, stop oh, there, there. Yeah, that looks yeah, much better. Yeah, more, more, more elongated. Okay, good. And uh, how about cranial angle? We can compare it. No, no. The cranial is not so good. And the caudal is better. Yeah, caudal better, is better. Better, better. Go, go, go. So uh, until so we find out the most uh, optimal image, we rotate the, uh, this uh, simulation and find out the angle on the left side Another one. Push, push. Okay. Dr. Angle number two. Doctor, where I come from? Fun. Doctor Jin Young Song. Okay. Doctor Young Wee Kim. And okay. Dr. Can you? Wang yeah. We. And Doctor Eun Jung Bae, please come from. With it, and uh, we are now measuring the diameter. Because the uh, angle is uh, very accurate, so we change the catheter with. Uh, Right, Jokin's catheter, and uh, we can select uh, this branch. So you're going so from the a minimum diameter of 1.2 to 6.2, so something like that. Okay, good. So the, can you see the selected vessel and rotate? Mm -hmm. AP, go to AP. It's the same vessel yeah, okay. while we are rotating. So, so we can confirm it. Okay, touch it. Go back to previous angle. Okay, we will perform. Uh, it's the most stenotic for a vessel, and uh, we'll perform. Uh, try first with the four millimeter balloon. How about? I, I, I think it's reasonable. I, I don't think. You know, since your distal vessel was six, I, I think some people might say, let's just go with a bigger balloon. But I think in this case, it's actually better to use a smaller balloon so that you can actually have a more effective dilation of that uh, smaller vessel. Uh, you probably don't need to make it to six anyways. If you look distal to that, it's smaller. So if you get it close to four uh -huh. or five, it may be enough. Okay. Would you not like to do a check angio before you blow your balloon? Just that. Oh no, we just, uh, we, we confirm the selected so, vessel so with, with the 3D angle change. Okay, so with 3D rotational, you don't do a check angio, just confirm on your rotation. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's the advantage of this angiogram. Hello? Okay. It's uh, 25. Atmosphere, the, we can see the no indentation on the balloon. That's a good sign. Means that this is. I uh, usually very inflate the balloon for for 60 seconds. The cell line, cell line seven cc, and this is the die. to dilate more with the six millimeter? You know, we, we actually now. have some data on these, what I call minuscule PAs. I find that this whole ratio of four times doesn't apply in the very small ones. I think the very tiny ones, the ones that are like between one and two millimeters, you can go much bigger than the four to one ratio. It's, uh, okay. Uh, nearly three millimeter diameter. And uh, I can check the pressure again with the uh, endol catheter. Before we balloon angioplasty, distal LPA pressure was uh, mean 10 and uh, systolic uh, about 15. But I cannot find out the postile flow, postile pressure, but uh, now we can see the postile. Can you see? You know, somehow when that vessel. And, uh, the mean, the mean is 19. Pull back the stenotic portion, and then now it jumped. Oh, it was previously 56, but it's now 40, and the mean 24. It, it works well. Sangho, do you really believe anyway. that opening that one segment by two millimeters is gonna change your RV pressures that much? Okay, the rotate, 
AP is the same vessel, right? Right. Yeah, the measure the diameter was 2.6 millimeters. So I will start with a six millimeter balloon on this stenotic vessel. Okay, go. And uh, stop, the frame by frame. Okay, and measure again. But in this, in this vessel, I would like to use a little bit bigger balloon. How about your thought? Agree. Agree? Agree. Uh, we perform with the six, and I will go eight. Eight? Seven, eight? Eight. 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 Okay, eight, eight millimeter. So everybody check the angel just after the balloon using a 3D road map. So if you see some dissection on the dilated vessel, peripheral pulmonary artery, then what would you do? Put a stand there or just wait and see? No, no, no. I just wait and check the angel every 15 or 30 minutes. And if it did not realize, then I can stop. But if it's uh, getting bigger, I put a stand over there. Okay, you floor or chicken stitch? Yeah, floor or chicken. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Uh, okay. We lost the first thing you, but uh, it's a 15 atmosphere with a 8 millimeter balloon. It looks there may be no stenosis at all. We'll check the pressure again with the endol catheter. So, so Sangho, how are you t injecting this uh -huh. right now? Are you using pure contrast or? or I, I noticed earlier you said you were mixing contrast As with I saline. As I you before, two cc saline, I uh, no no six millimeter saline syringe, and uh, uh, two cc contrast. And uh, as you can see, the distal low pulmonary artery pressure was 24 min 18. This uh, I passed the stenotic portion, and the pressure was 31 min 21. It has already passed the uh, stenotic vessel, but uh, uh, pressure was 33, and uh, MPA was 42, Five. and the RV pressure was uh, 53. Okay, it's almost a half of the systemic pressure, so. Maybe okay. No, this, this was a great example of angioplasty on a very complex lesion. And I have to say, I'm impressed with the changes uh -huh. in the RV pressure. Um, and you did this all uh -huh. within an hour. So congratulations, Sung Ho. Thank you. Thank you.